Hi, I'm Matthew Tilsley, Redken Brand Ambassador in Louisville, Kentucky. I'd like to demo for you today how to create a two-strand fish towel. So one of the first looks I have for you is a very soft look. Slightly loose, with a little bit of volume in the top. And as we move her around, you can see that we've got a beautiful fish towel that transcends from the base of the ponytail all the way to the ends. The other look that I've created for you is a play on the same look. So a little looser, a little messier. And as you can see, we've tried something a little different with the front. Think of the many exciting and new ways and possibilities that you can take these techniques and recreate as many looks as you like. I've taken our lovely mannequin, and this could be your client or mannequin, it does not matter. It's all about the practice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise her up just a smidge so you guys can see what we're doing. Now this girl has a little bit longer hair, so here's the situation. Sometimes people are gonna come in with massive amounts of hair and then some people are not. If that's the issue, you can always add hair extensions and I'll probably do a follow-up video on how to do that. So what we've done is actually, we've prepped these mannequins with a little bit of satin wear and a little bit of round brush and heat. Uh, so what I've done now is just loosely secured it. I have a Sanvia clip, no bend clip, that I placed at the bottom just to secure the hair so it doesn't fall and disperse. What I've done through the top is I've taken two uh, sections and I've rolled it with a two inch Marcel iron to give it a little bit of heat and stability. Like in this version, we've got a little bit of height, so I wanted to recreate that to where it would just kind of lay back. So I thought this would be a great look just for everyday life. Um, and then, of course, obviously, you guys can take it to the next level. Um, so what I've done, I've just secured that with a single prong clip. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna gather this. And my product of choice is going to be Fashion Works 12. Let me get a little closer for you guys to see. And so what? as you can see, I've just taken two bobby pin or grips and secured them with a rubber band. So here's how this is gonna work. What I don't wanna do is smash this. Although that is one way that you guys can do this, this is not what we're gonna be doing today. I want this to be a little bit softer, a little bit more natural, and a little bit more sensual. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna kind of spray this all the way around the mannequin and I'm gonna be taking my natural bristle brush. This one is from Tear Sheet. And what I'm gonna do is lightly comb this around. She pick up some of the loose stray hairs. As you can see, I'm holding and supporting the hair from underneath. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of tie that to the back. So once I get that to a place that I love, I'm just gonna take that uh, and hold it with one hand. And then what I'm gonna do with my free hand is come in and I'm gonna take the uh, part of the bobby pin and secure it right at the base, right above my hands. And what I'm gonna do is actually wrap this around. Now depending on the, uh, the length or the elasticity of the band, sometimes you can get this around once. This one just, um, sometimes twice. This one just once. All right, so just to clarify that. Now I could be done, however, this may not be a finished look, whether you're in the salon. Uh, if you're a client, this may work. But what we wanna do is maybe take this up a, a, a little bit more of a notch. So what I'm gonna do is take a small section from underneath, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tail comb, and what I'm gonna do is lightly back comb this, all right? So it doesn't have to be super perfect, I just wanna get a little bit of density in there, so that way the hair does not split when I cover this. Again, I'm using our Fashion Works 12, applying the product, and then I'm gonna come back in with the Natural Bristle Pin Cushion Brush, and just uh, clean that up a bit. And now, as you'll notice, I'm wrapping this and I'm doing my rotations as I'm wrapping it around and securing this. Uh, and then what I'll do is have a little bit of hair left, and what I'll do is come back in and take a free uh, bobby pin, like so, grab that little hair, and then tuck that in. And then I just have this little hair that I can actually just kind of roll around and tuck under and then I can hit it with a little bit of hairspray to secure this. So I'm gonna be a little heavier with my saturation at this point. And if you'll notice, I'm kind of lightly using the back of the bottle just to press those loose hairs into the silhouette. So now all I have to mess with is this ponytail that I've created. So here is where the fun is gonna happen. Um, if that ponytail wasn't fun enough, we're gonna take this a step further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise our gala. 
Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work with this section. So again, I'm gonna come through, I wanna make sure that it's detangled. Now what I've done is I've concocted something fresh and fun. I'm taking the Movability 5 and Redken's new Braided 03 and I'm gonna combine these. So what I'm gonna do is take a small dollop and the reason I'm doing this is because the, uh, the Braid Aid 03 is very lightweight, but I wanted it to have just a smidge more control. So as you can see, I'm taking these two products, I'm just gonna blend this all the way uh, in between my hands and getting it pretty much everywhere, just like a lotion. Now I wanna come in and just kind of run this through the section and really get it dispersed through the section. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this and work this product. So here is how this begins, all right? So you, you have to have good dexterity, but again, with everything else, it's all about practice. So do not beat yourself up if you're not getting this where you want. Highly recommend, if you're at home, take a mannequin, uh, have it between your legs, and just practice it while you're watching your favorite program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure this. Now the key to this is to always take hair from the outer edge and move it to the opposite center, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a small section, all right, from the right side, and we're gonna switch it over to the opposite left. Now notice I have my index finger here to help with that. Again, I'm gonna bring this opposite section, so I'm switching my hands just slightly. Notice that this piece overlapped the, uh, the, the previously uh, laid section that was here before, as you guys can see. So then, I'm just gonna move back and forth. So again, the outer hair goes to the opposite section and notice how my index finger goes to help to separate that. So then I can switch hands, but still have control on that center. If I'm, if I'm too loose with that, that's gonna unravel, which is not a bad thing. It's just gonna create a softer look. So again, taking a section from the opposite left side, move it to the opposite right interior. Then we're gonna take an opposite right side exterior and merge that to the opposite inside interior. And we're gonna repeat this. So again, we're coming at the left side, taking a section, moving it from the opposite side to the opposite center. And again, taking an exterior piece and moving it to the opposite center. All right, so we wanna just kinda of keep doing this. Uh, some hot tips to think about. The smaller your sections, the more compact, the more intricate it's going to be. The larger your sections, the lot looser it's going to be. It's going to have a lot more meat. It's going to be a lot more round. So think about that when you're done. So if you guys want to get a closer look, let me bring her even closer up. So yes. now we have an up close look. What we're doing is we're taking hair from the outer edge and moving it to the opposite center. As you can see, we can go rather quickly at this point. And then I can secure the bottom. Spray the section. Then I can reshape this and pull some of it out. So now I'm actually separating the fish towel and making it a little bit more irregular. So this could be really beautiful, ornate, as intricate as you want it to be. It's all about having fun. Now with the final pieces, I'm gonna spin her around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out.
brush through them. And I think for this one, I kind of like where it's going. And I'm just going to pin this on the back. If I wanted to, I could then actually wrap this and make a quick updo. And there you have it. Now you guys can recreate this look and many more just by using these easy steps. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on Instagram or Twitter, please follow me at Hair by Matt. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.